move on now to Scream 6, Rob. Scream 6 on your docket. Look at that. I haven't no. seen Scream 5 yet because um, the movie theaters were shut down. You had a chance to see it. So why don't you, before we get into this, talk a little, without spoilers for those who haven't been able to see it, talk a little bit about Scream 5 and uh, whether or not Scream 5 left you wanting a sixth Scream. Yeah, so, you know, the killers in Scream 5 are, uh, no, no, I'll skip over that part. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, um, Scream 5, I think, like, you know, without, you know, saying much to it, it was kind of like revitalizing it a little bit. Like it was less like, you know, even though it has its meta stuff, because that's a huge part about scream, it was less kind of like almost campy because I thought like, you know, even though I like scream four, uh, there was a lot of campiness to that movie, like very, like very comedic. And, you know, this one kind of brought back, you know, the harder edge that there, there were some really good kills in it. And, uh, you know, uh, in the movie itself, it could still open itself up to, uh to uh some more sequels because it's just like you know even though you know there is a resolution to this movie like you know scream five there there could definitely be you know some lingering threads there definitely were some lingering th threads in this uh movie that could lead to you know more and you know there's always more guys that will or or girls or whoever that um uh, will will be willing to put on that mask. So, and uh, at the same time, uh, the directors, I think they did they did a really great job. So, you know, uh, I loved uh, Ready or Not, and you know, giving them another shot to do a Scream Six, I, I'm all for that. Yeah, as much as I said, I haven't seen Scream Five yet, but I am looking forward to a Scream Six because this is one of my favorite franchises, as you know. So, the more the merrier on the Scream front. I don't know who survives, who doesn't. Um, I'm guessing that a lot of uh, the old favorites do survive on this one. Uh, in Scream 5, and at some point, you've got to say, let it go, just like in the movie Frozen, you got to let it go, Rob, and you got to part ways with those. I thought they all should have died in the fourth one, but here we are in number, uh, I can't believe it's going to be six of these movies. That's kind of crazy. We go all these years with none of them, and then the sixth one is, and and what I read was, it was, um, uh, I can't remember the, the article that I read on, but uh, it's going to be in Montreal. They're going to be shooting this one in Montreal, Quebec, in uh, in Canada, right here. So that's whatever. I don't know what that means. If that maybe they're changing locations. Maybe it's Canadian Scream, and they all speak with French Canadian accents. Yeah, it's not Wood Woodboro anymore. It's just yeah, <laughs> French Boro or <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> that's Scream Six. All right, let's move on now to.